Well, hello again, my lovely little cherubs. It's been a while since I've been on. I've been really, really busy, so I have. But I'm back again, down in the bungalow, looking after Mr. Mighty and Poppy. Little blueberries away, a few things, sweet errands the now. So, I'm here and I'm going to do some ironing. Because I've seen that she does ironing. And I thought, well... Don't mind me using her fancy iron for some of old Mrs. Doubtwater's things, you know, because she doesn't mind little blueberries, she doesn't mind anything Mrs. Doubtwater does. That's true. So, I'll just get, I've got a couple of things I want to iron now. I'm going to iron this because it needs a little bit of iron. Look, it's got a couple of little holes, but that's alright. It's still classy, you know, so I'm going to give this a little iron. And I've got something in my bag. Wait till oh, my bag's really heavy today. So I've got a, an item in here that I'm going to maybe I could you my bow today, everyone. I'm going to the butchers, yes, you guessed it. After this. You know, I just need some sausages and bacon and and all that kind of stuff. And you know, just to see Hamish again. You know, that's the the butcher's name is Hamish. Good Scottish name, you know. Oh, he's right, look at this. Rugged looking fella. So, you know, let me see. I've got my trusty fan because, oh, you know, I'm going through the change there, so I need to cool down now and again because sometimes it gets heated. Sometimes it gets heated, and all the young fellas talk to Mrs. Doubtwater, and sometimes I've got to, you know, cool myself down there because hormones. So wait a minute, take some of this stuff out my bag here. I've got things in my bag, what else? Oh. You never know when you need the nice pair of rubber gloves. In there as well. Let's see what else I've got in here. Of course, my hair spray for my, my beautiful hair. Yes, I just did it all all permed again so I did so it's all lovely and curly now dear so what else have I got in here let me see oh we're gonna move that out the road as well oh I've got a little coffee got, I'm going to open that and take a drink then. it's a lovely it's, it's tasty coffee it does taste mm. it's the best coffee I've ever tasted Okay. Oh, more of these rubber gloves. You know, you never know when you need a good rubber glove. Or torch, we call them for flashlights. So. Alright, so I'll iron this first while I talk to you, dear, because I've got things to talk about. I've got lots of things to talk about. Yeah. Things all falling about all over the place. So, to tell you what happened to me the other day, dear, it was embarrassing. It was really embarrassing. I was in the butchers again because I go through meat, I'll tell you. I go through meat in my house like no one else. I've got a, few, a freezer like that filled to the brim with meat. But you can always do with a little bit more in your freezer for emergencies like, you know, in case there's an emergency on. If there's an emergency on, they will not want to come round to my house because I've got meat coming out my ears. I have. But I'm going to back to the butcher's this afternoon anyway. So, there I was. <coughs> in the butcher's, Mrs. McGraw was there. She was there. And, you know, Hamish, the butcher. He's funny, he's a funny man, I'll tell you, he, he knows how to tell a joke, a right knee slapper, dear, that was, so, he was telling a fabulous joke, and I was laughing and everything like that, and I thought I needed a fart, but actually, I can a shart, you know, things, they followed through, dear, it wasn't good, and, oh, and I was so embarrassed, and you could smell, and the smell was terrible, but Mrs McGraw was getting served, me so when she went out I said to Hamish 
Oh, Mrs. McGraw was a bit whiffy today, wasn't she? You know, she wouldn't mind. She she wouldn't mind me saying that to him because she knows I like him and she, she wouldn't want me getting embarrassed, dear. She wouldn't want me getting embarrassed. But there, that happened to me. That was a learn in, in future, you know. Farts can be kind of dangerous at my age, if you know what I mean. They really can. They can be dangerous at my age. And anyway, Mrs. McGraw's got a new lover. Remember I told you about the man in the park? Him? Yeah. His name's Alfie. His name's Alfie. And they're a perfect match. They are an absolute perfect match. And um, he's a bit of a smelly man. I wouldn't lie to you, dear. He is a bit, you know, a required sense of smell kind of man, you know, not big on hygiene, but, but quite funny, quite a funny man, but he, you know, he looks as if he's fell out the ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down, dear, but that's her kind, that's who she kind of likes, she likes that kind of man, you know, the more, um, mm, not easy on the eyes, opposite of that, basically, that's, that's who she likes, whereas, you know, I like Hamish, Hamish is, Big red-headed man. He looks as if he should be a fireman, actually. I've said that to him. I've said, if you ever give up your butchery business, you should go straight into being a fireman because that job would suit him, dear. And he would get the whole outfit and all that, you know. Ooh, I think that would be a smashing job for him. I've told him to look into it, you know, because you can only butcher for so long. I think all that chopping off the meat and everything. So I think that would be a good job. There we go. Perfect. There. It's a great wee iron list that Blueberry's got. So the next thing I'm going to show you, it's a bit personal, dear. It's, it's a bit personal, but it's just me and you. So I'm, I'm quite happy telling you all of my business. I really am. <clears throat> I'm happy of telling you absolutely everything about my life. So, so uh, the next thing is going to be my bloomers, dear. These are the kind of like, you know, proper, proper lady knickers, you know. See the nice fancy design. They don't make knickers like this. You know, nowadays it's all the floss strings up their bottoms. No, no, no. And this is the kind men like, you know, men like a lady in this kind of shapely garment and it's soft dear it's soft so comfort you know it's going to be comfort you know you're going to you know and you know I've seen I've not told you this but I used to be married dear I was married to um, Dougal his name was his name was Dougal and he was a coal man he used to do things with coal and stuff like that dear you know kind of dirty you know, we were married for 30 years. 30 years we were married. He did find someone younger, but that was just because of the money. You know, she had money. It wasn't about her good looks or anything like that, because why would he leave all of this? You know, there was no chance. So it was just about the money. He went away with that 19 year old. That's all. So people always say to me, Mrs. Doubtwater, what is the secret of a 30 year old marriage? was the secret all that time and I've got to say I don't really know because I was miserable 25 years of that dear to be quite honest you know I don't, I don't 25 years I was quite miserable but anyway I'm going to iron my drawers now oh. we don't want we don't want um, them to burn because then they would be rough on the the old bits and bulbs you know We'll give these a good iron. Oh, take a drink of my coffee. Oh, it's gorgeous coffee. Mmm. Gives you a kick, that coffee. It really gives you a bit of a kick. So I recommend these if you're looking for a fella, ladies. Never mind the G-strings. Never mind all of that. These. Pulls the fellas every time. Actually, I'm going a little holiday, dear. I am. 
I'm going on holiday next month. So I'll probably talk to you from the resort and stuff like that. So I'm going to be taking, obviously, my good knickers with me because, you know, the foreign laddies, I've heard they like natural women as well. But, but what, I'll show you what I've bought if we're going on holiday, right? And it's this little thing here. Quite honest, just to shave my whole body because you know, with age and stuff like that, I'm honestly a bit like Chewbacca in places, you know, big Chewbacca. That's what I kind of look like. So, I need really an all over body razor. So, Blueberry told me this one's quite good, so I bought this and it's got a light on it so it can get into places, nooks, and crannies that normal daylight doesn't see. You know, it can get right in there and it's got some it's got some good action there for stubborn hairs because some of my hairs is like a brillo pad there you know just with age and matureness and things like that you know things get a bit thicker and wirier so i'm going to be can you imagine me on the beach all shaved silky smooth my nice drawers on and Blueberry keeps telling me about these budgie smuggling boys. I'm quite excited about seeing what that's about because it sounds as if it's right up my street, that kind of thing, you know. And I'll, I'll obviously have a nice pair of glasses and things like that. Why? And the foreign guys like a like an older lady. I've heard that. I've heard they like experience is what they like. They like experience. And see, I've got a little short skirt, so I might have this kind of just. Kicking out the bottom of my skirt, this snow, cause that'll drive them wild, dear, that'll drive them wild. Not that I'm cheating, because me and the butcher, we aren't really classified as an item as such. So, um, maybe we may, when I come back from holiday, maybe we will be, but until then, it's, it's fair game. Mrs. Stoutwater can go and enjoy herself. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to go now, because... I think I can hear Blueberry coming home and I want to get my knickers and that back in my bag, you know, all my, my coffee and things like that back in my bag. So the next time I talk to you will probably be in Croatia. I'm going to Croatia, guys, with Blueberry. She's going as well, so don't tell Mrs. McCraw because it'd be a shame to tell her that we're away without her. But she's got the part guy anyway. She's got her hands full at the moment. God bless her. And God bless all of you and thank yous for spending this time with all Mrs. Dirtwater. It's been a blast as always and I love yous all. Bye.